It's not every day that someone would take a morning walk down Whitehall here, take a look at Churchill's old war rooms right behind and decide to turn those into a hotel. The Hinduja brothers did just that. I saw, I outbid and I bought. It was, as the Hindujas say, a sudden decision and they believe a blessed one. My elder brother, late SP Hinduja and myself, we always used to walk in St. James Bar. We were looking for something unique to make it a destination, to serve where we are living and also to create a legacy which looks to us, we have done it. It took us seven years and today it is a talk of the town. You are confident that this has been a good investment considering it was taken rather in a hurry. It was a morning thought and the morning thought came to us after visiting the temple is called Hare Krishna. And when we do that, the thoughts which come, we try to develop and implement. The building was bought at a cost of 374 million pounds and the Hindujas say they have spent close to another billion pounds on it. But the hotel is just half the story and not even the first half. The priority is to sell 85 residences sitting behind a common square with the hotel. These are all furnished and on sale at 4 crore of rupees for a one bedroom flat, 8 crores for two bedrooms, 10 crores for three bedrooms and from 17 crores upwards for four to five bedrooms. The hotel rooms are on for anything from a lakh and 10,000 a night for the humblest to 25 lakh rupees a night. Residence or hotel, not the place for a school teacher dipping into savings. The rather simply named Ovo Hotel sits quite importantly between Trafalgar Square and Big Ben with Downing Street right across. But could that also be the problem? This is dry government area, far from the buzz and charm of Mayfair. The ambition of the project is that it will, well, create that buzz and charm right here, right within. Uh, Sanjay, you're creating quite a lifestyle island in a working area. Whitehall, of course, is the heart of government. And that sounds like a challenge. What are you going to do to make that happen? Well, uh, when we first acquired uh, the OVO, uh, in my mind and, and others in the family, it was always a challenge that we we're going to create something luxurious in Whitehall. Whitehall is not known. Uh, for entertainment, uh, food and beverage, etc. So we decided that there's only one way to do it, is to create a destination. And so we went look, searching for brands who have never been to UK before. And that includes Raffles itself. Raffles has never been to uh, UK. And all our F&B partners, our, uh, the spa partners, all have come to UK for the first time. So we are offering a whole gamut of uh, restaurants and other uh, you know, spa facilities which, which London has not seen before. The residences have all been done up rather opulently, but again, could that be a problem? Could they be a little too hotel-like to be home? The Hindu just need just 85 buyers to think otherwise, and they claim to be almost halfway there. Meanwhile, the rest of us can take a morning walk more or less where we like without ever having to worry about such things.